Welcome guys in this new video of the series on Game Engine. Now in the previous video we've been talking about widget body. So you can see right here on the screen the player is able to fall. It's because of gravity and he's falling forward because we apply a force on the player. You can see here we apply a force on the X axis and the player is able to move forward while falling because of gravity because there is no collision yet so the player has to be continually falling because there is nothing he can hit on now in this video we're gonna be moving a little bit forward and talk about event handlers we're gonna be starting our basic event handler class our input class so we could handle like keyboard and you know for now we're just gonna be doing the keyboard event so that we can move our player on the screen and uh, yeah if we have enough time we're gonna be uh, changing the state of player between run and idling but if we don't do it in this video, we'll probably do it in the next one. So we're definitely going to be doing that anyway. So let's get started. Now I'll simply invite you to go ahead and create a new class. So I'm going to call it input so you can call it event handler whatever input handler and i'm going to create a new folder for that which i'm also going to be calling inputs so i'm going to call it like that and still you can call it as you want and i'm um, say create make sure you have a cpp cpp and the header file because we have some function to implement right here so we create it now I have too much file open right here. I'm gonna be closing some of them like widget, transform, game object. So we're gonna stick with that for now. So we have our input handler class. So we don't want this class to be um, instantiable, so so to say. We want it to be a static class. We only have only wanna have one instance of this class. If you remember, we did this for the engine class. So um, the way we can do that. It, we can simply go ahead and copy what we did for engine and just customize it so we do not spend too much time. I'm gonna copy this and move to CPP and paste it right here. The constructor is gonna be private because we don't want anyone to be able to create an instance of this. So what we basically do here, let me say input, copy this also and paste it right here. And we need to create a static member for that variable static input and we're gonna call it instance now what we basically do here is we check if an instance of this class has already been created if yes then we simply return that instance if not then we create a new instance and return it so we will always we'll always have only one all over the code we only have one instance of this input class because we don't want to have something like two event clashing you know two event trying to to be executed at the same time because you added a click event there and also here and then the same has to occur at the same time and then the computer don't know which one to start with that's why we only want one class for this and all the rest is going to be handled according to this instance so that's the idea behind this so we need some important function as we said we're just going to be handling the keyboard right now so we need like a function to listen to event whenever something something happened that function we call it listen now we want a bool this bool function is actually going to be giving us a feedback about if a key is pushed you know so we say key get key down and now we need to pass the information about the key we want to check if it was down so for that we need sdl because sdl actually has all this for us so we don't need to think about uh, handling that by, by ourselves so we just go ahead and say sdl scan code and we just say key so whenever we want to know if a key is pushed we just give that scan code to get key function and we will figure that out and just let us know so we also need some private function right here which are going to be internally used to make our event so we have key up and we also have key down 
this is handled internally down so but we also need some component some member variables which are going to be giving us which, which are going to be storing the state for example in this case of the keyboard so we need right now only one we'll say const so we need an integer so we we'll take this one right here add integer so we say in key state so this array is actually going to be storing the state of your keyboard whenever a button is pushed at the place in this array where that button has to be stored the value one should be there so that's why we we'll simply check is this value at this place one or zero if it's one then the key was pushed if zero then there's nothing going on there so that's the basic idea of this now we need to go ahead and implement these functions um, the constructor right now let's say we leave it right here because we'll later on add some couple of things that are going to be important for the constructor but we need to insert our implementation for all method we have the listing the get and the key down itself so we have this and this a little bit now we're going to be starting with our uh, listing function we want to listen all even this function is going to be used to listen all even that we have for that we need to define an event which is going to be checking the value of the actual event that occurs so and now we simply say while so as long as we pull even with our sdl with the given event that the that the user actually triggered we want to study that event and see which one it is to actually give a feedback according to the type of the event so switch case event type now case in the case we have a sdl quit so we're gonna be doing it here in the case the player want to kill the process we need to do something right here we need to call the this two from has to be here we need to call the quit function of the engine so that's why we need to include our engine right here so we say engine and we come and we simply say engine get instance and we quit just like that and we have to break to make sure we don't launch too much cases so the second case we have right now is SDL key down SDL key down so if SDL key is down we just want to call the key down function the key down function will simply actualize the state array that we created before so we just call it and we break the same thing has to be done for the key up whenever we release a key or we push a key we need to you know uh, refresh the value of the states in the array we always want to have real-time value so it's important for us to refresh what is going on so this one is key up this is two point not the comma so and there we simply call the key up function and we break so for now this is our listing method we're gonna be you know covering more stuff on that later but for now just keep it like that now we're gonna move forward to our get key down so we want to make sure we want to check if a key was pushed so all we need to say if the state you remember our key state array and we pass this key to it so this array actually stores the scan code of each key of your keyboard so you want to check if the value at for this key right here is one then it means that key is pushed we simply say return so we can do it yeah this way like um okay let's say return i wanted to optimize it but just leave it for now and we can if not then we simply return false what i could have done is i could simply say return this and the value that will be returned either one or zero then i will know one is for pushed and zero but just leave it with boolean because we want it to be like that so um uh, yeah or we can just do it like this i i'd like to optimize things you know i'm sorry but 
if I say return and do it like this so it will simply check if this value is 1 then it will return yeah it will return false or true in the case this is 1 then that's perfect so I like it like that now we need to actually set the value of the of the state whenever anything happens for example for the key up or for the key down so the way we can do that we can simply call the get keyboard state here so we don't want to give a specific index for 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 example you might want to take uh, just the function keyboard or things like that so we just want to take all keys so we don't want to care about uh, you know some stuff like which one should we take and all that kind of stuff so just write it like that so try to compile it and see but we haven't edited anywhere now um, we need to initialize our state because if we try to do this for example and uh, we have we haven't you know load any value in this guy here then we have some issue because this guy doesn't exist but we're trying to access that that's why we need when the first instance will be created then our keyboard state will be you know loaded and we'll make sure that we always have value in our keyboard state that's why the constructor is important in this case now we're just gonna go to our engine there we're gonna be making a simple test we say include input and uh, we're gonna go to our update function uh, here for example we're gonna change this first of all we don't want this anymore we'll simply say the event function we want to because we've already written everything that should happen if the player want to quit we've been writing that right here so we don't need that in the engine anymore so here we'll simply say input get instance and we'll say um listen so this guy is simply listen and if anything happened then if the player want to quit so if i compile this for example we have an issue right here i need to check which one instance ah we haven't initialized our instance i always do the same error every time sorry so we have input and i'm gonna say input instance is equal to null pointer since this is a static variable it need to be initialized before anything happens that's important if you don't have that it will never work so if I click, I still close the program. But now you see it's better because we don't have to write all these things with pull even right here. The engine is the guy who simply gather everything together and you know handle from 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 inside out. So so to say, so we have our input handler which is called here and everything is handled uh, outside. So I really like this. So um, that's it for now. We also wanna test if a key we want to test the key the key down so we just go to our update function for example right here there we're gonna say input get instance and we say get key down so we want to give SDL key scan code right here we're gonna say scan code go back scan code let's say for zero for example i don't know which zero it is so i'm going to use a letter we say a so we get this we say if if this is equal to true we want it to show text so we show key a push so we compile this and we see we have no problem right now uh, concha we all have a concha or should I add SDL let me go ahead and add SDL include I'm not sure if, this, if that's the problem but just want to do it back and see because it, ah, this would be a big file uh, not a small one big one so we compile perfect now if I push this key right here Ah, and nothing coming out. Let's see what happened. So, 
um, that means our return statement here in this function is not working yeah. so we're gonna do it the way we did it before and test it so let's say if this is equal to 1 then we return true as we return false so let me go ahead and test this again you see up key push right here that's it so guys thank you for watching videos on medical channel consider going on patreon and subscribe to this channel so if it didn't work for you you can still find the source code in the link in the description and if you guys have any question concern or critic think about to write in the comment section below don't leave without writing a comment and without subscribing see you in the next video we're going to be talking about more important stuff we're going to be moving the player around with the keyboard so ciao